Police say there appears to be no connection between the four men and one woman who were shot in North Tulsa Friday morning. We are looking at that as, as some sort of spree. Sergeant Dave Walker says it appears they were random victims of opportunity. The victims were in the street and not really in their yards. So I would think that you know people are walking up and down the street. Being targeted. Police spent the day revisiting the crime scenes and reviewing 911 call logs in the hope of finding something that may connect to the killer. Obviously, something's happening and it's concerning. So, you know, I think you need to be aware uh, as far as being afraid in your homes. No, I mean, it's daylight now. You can go about your business. Uh, but boy, at night, I would be aware of what's going on. There's three mothers that has to. To go to bed with the fact that my baby is not going to come home. After the murder of his son three years ago, Jason Trent dedicated his life to saving children from violence. He says the random nature of these shootings have cast fear over the community. No need to panic, but be vigilant. Make sure that, you know, you're looking out for your the kids, don't need to be out playing this, this afternoon, for, you know, just for safety's sake. You know, and that's ridiculous. Plus a nine millimeter Smith and Weston is cocked and loaded. It's ready to go. Ralph Eady's business is steps away from the murder scene on 36th Street North. He says he's legal to carry his weapons, and that's exactly what he's going to do until a suspect is caught. You don't know who's the person that's going around doing it. So right now, I think everybody needs to, you know, just get closer and just protect themselves and do whatever measures is necessary legally, legally to protect themselves.